guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for stopping by, welcome. Now today I decided I wanted to go ahead and revisit some of my ColourPop makeup products. And although I don't have a complete full face to do all ColourPop, I have a good majority of ColourPop products. So that's what I'm doing today. Now, one of the new palettes that I purchased in their last sale was the Bretton and Rock Lit Palette. And I just thought this palette was super duper pretty, super cute. And I wanted something kind of nice and soft and red today. And I wanted to have a pop of yellow. So this is the palette that I worked with today, as well as using a good amount of ColourPop complexion items as well on my face. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, I did go ahead and do just a quick little voiceover for this video because I was just chilling while I was doing my makeup. Y'all know how I do. <laughs> so if you'd like to see this, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay guys, so let's just jump right in. I'm starting off by prepping my eyelids using my ColourPop concealer. And this one is in the color Deep Golden. And I wanted to just go ahead, place some of that on my eyelid and blend it out with a fluffy brush. And I'm also going to go in with some of my ColourPop Banana Powder. And this is a loose powder, so I'm just using this to set my eyelids today. I didn't really want to work on a sticky base today. So I'm going in with some tape because I want a nice clean line and I'm going to start out this look by using the lightest shade in this eyeshadow palette. So this is what it looks like and this first shade is called or whatever. <laughs> it's just a very very light pink shade and you really aren't going to see it on my eyelid, but I wanted to use that as a nice transition for the rest of my shades. Next, I'm going into this dark burgundy shade, which is called Like, and I'm using that as my main crease color. And as you can see, I'm just slowly building this color up, building it up. The formula on these shadows is pretty consistent with ColourPop shadows. The color is there. You do have to build it up. It is blendable, but they're definitely buildable because you don't get that instant pigment when you go in to use it. You do have to build it up. So the next color I'm going to go into is Period <laughs> Yes, it's Period with a T on the end of it. And I'm just using that to gently blend out the edge of that red shade, just so it's not so harsh. And I'm using some of my new brushes, you guys. I really like them. <laughs> They're working out very nicely for me. Now I wanted to add that bright pop of yellow, so I'm going in with the shade Cleo Amour. And I'm just really pouncing this color into the inner corner of my eye. And as you can see, I'm just going in repeatedly, picking up that yellow shadow and just really placing it in the corner of my eye, making sure that I can really see it nicely and gently blending it as well. So I'm going back to my ColourPop concealer and I'm using that to carve out my cut crease. And as you can see, I am sticking with that, it's kind of like a angled cut crease that I'm going for today. So I'm just trying to create that shape that I want throughout this whole look. So now I'm going to go in with this first cut crease shadow and I'm going to spray my brush. And this color is She Got Money. <laughs> And it's just a really pretty gold shade. It's nothing to write home about. It doesn't have like a super duper bright pop to it, but it works. Now I'm going into the dark burgundy shimmer, spraying my brush again. And I'm using rose water, you guys, just in case you're curious about what I spray my brush with. I use rose water all the time. So this is the color Mercy. And it did take quite a bit of building up just for me to get it to that deep, burgundy shimmer shade that I was looking for but it turned out nice 
Now I'm going into the shade Macchiato and I'm just using that on the outer portion of that cut crease. I really wish there was a shadow in here that was a little bit darker to smoke out this look, but that's okay. We'll keep it light and sexy today. <laughs> so I decided I wanted to use one of my Jelly Much eyeshadows as an eyeliner. So I'm just taking a really small brush and using this eyeshadow as an eyeliner. I really, really like how it looked. It did take a little bit of building up to use it as an eyeliner, but I thought it matched really nicely with the yellow that I put on the inner corner of my eye. So I was actually pleased at how it came out. And this eyeshadow does dry down completely, so it doesn't move, doesn't smudge or anything. Now I'm going in with some of my Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner. I did want to go ahead and have a little bit of contrast against that yellow to make it pop more. So I'm just adding a very thin line of this eyeliner just below that yellow um, shadow. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to my face, you guys. I'm using my new primer that I got. This is the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. And I like it. It's not too bad. Now I'm going in with my ColourPop Foundation. And this one is in the color, what is it, Deep Dark 185? Something like that. But this is a really good color match for me, you guys. You see that? Isn't it matching me really good? I like it. I like the uh, coverage. I like the consistency and I really like how it looks so. It's all good. Now I'm going back into that concealer. <laughs> this concealer is working overtime today you guys. I'm using it for everything. So I'm using it to go ahead and conceal, highlight the normal areas. And I'm really not using as much as I normally do because I don't really feel like with the coverage of the foundation like I really had to go in with a lot of concealer but I really really like the way that it kind of played with the foundation it really plays well with the foundation I don't have a ColourPop contour so I'm going in with my Fenty of course like I normally do and just adding a little bit of dimension to my face I love this contour you guys if you haven't tried it I don't know what you waiting on I feel like it's one of the best contour sticks out there. It's really, really good. It, it's very blendable and just the color is just really, really nice. So I'm going in with some more of the banana powder and this is a loose banana powder from ColourPop, you guys. It's really not my favorite. I think I'm kind of over the whole highlighting under the eyes and stuff. I like a little bit of brightness, but it just, I don't know, it's just too bright. But I'm going in with some of the, what is this, medium deep powder now and using that all over my face, just trying to bring everything together. And as you can see, that brightening powder, that banana powder really was not plain, okay? So I'm going in with my NYX blush and this is in the color, this is one of their ombres and it's the color Insta Flame. And I'm using this, of course, I don't have any ColourPop blush, but this one will do. And I really, really like how this color really made the eyes just kind of pop. Now I'm going in with my Shayla and ColourPop highlighter. As you can see, it is blinging, blinging. This stuff is going to last me forever, you guys, because with loose highlighters, it's like you just need a touch of it. And it's really going to pop. This is in the color Pose. Yeah, pose. So I'm just using that all over my face. Now I'm going back into this palette and I'm taking that shade Like and smoking out my lower lash line. I really, really like how that color blended out on my lower lash line, you guys. And I'm using my Milani uh, Black Eyeliner. And I'm just going in to add a little bit of smoke and dimension to my lower lash line. And I'm using my Essence Princess Lash Mascara today. Now you guys, this mascara, it just really did something today. You see that? Sometimes it really works nicely and sometimes it doesn't. But today, 
It did the most with these lashes, okay? Look at that. She popping. <laughs> so I'm going in with my new free lipstick that I got from ColourPop and the color Extra Toppings. And as you can see, it's super duper bright, but it's perfect for spring and summer. And I really like it. Now let's go ahead and set this face with my Morphe Setting Mist. And that's pretty much it, you guys. This is my ColourPop face. I hope you guys like it. I had a lot of fun creating this look. It's soft, it's sexy, it just screams spring and summer, and it was easy to do. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!